That is the most important. <laughs> I agree. No joke. All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. And please excuse my voice, man. I'm pretty, you know, that what they call horse from camp. Anyway, you saw that right there now. It's a pretty bold move but for a. Uh, for a president to be doing, you know, uh, in, in a time of war like this, okay? <coughs> so lock you. Now, uh, you know, this video just popped up on my feed uh, from the brother from Jersey. And, um, you know, hey, they could use it to uh, use this to take out Biden or the, they could just be fanning the flames. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you never know. That's why we're watching. All right. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to read this. So lock you. Let's go back. Boy, my voice is shot. Please forgive me. <clears throat> there we go. Ezekiel 33 and verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, and if the people of the land take not... Salakia, my voice is really shot, so please forgive me. All right? If the people of the land... Take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. See, we, we got to watch and pay attention. Okay. Verse three. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he bloweth the trumpet and warn the people. All right. And so that's what we're doing is warning the people. You know, we're staying occupied in prophecies and the things that are happening, you know, across this earth. All right. We must because the prophecies are popping off the pages. And we have to pay attention and we have to watch, all right, and blow the trumpet. Verse 4, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the word, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Ooh, so what it's, hey, what it's telling you is, Israel, you better listen. Listen to the word. Look, look, that's the chariot camera right there. Okay, verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand you see getting the blood up off our hands man and again that's you know that that really is some big news somebody's fanning some, some flame somewhere we are not ignorant of satan's devices okay and you can hear the air raid sirens you know that's why all those uh uh all his uh angels you know that are gonna be cast out with him was flying around last night okay i guess just to make sure that you know the what they call the um the airways, no, what do you call it? airspace, you know, it was good enough for the president to fly in. Now what? Now what if Putin decides to go ahead, you know, and start hitting some buttons? I believe he's in a, 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 a Kiev, which is the, their capital, right? All hell could break loose from here on out. That's why. That's why he set us watchmen. Okay. Verse 7, so then, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. You see, let's keep going here. Verse 8, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou doth not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Whew, that's heavy right there. Lots of things going on right now. 
And again, this is just going to be a real quick lesson. Also, this right here. I pulled this up earlier last night. And, you know, it's this there. So I'm going to read just a little bit of this. <coughs> so lock you. And you got the thing going on in Ohio, which was clearly done purposefully. Okay? You know, this devil's making moves right now. He's making moves. That's why we got to watch and be sober and be vigilant. All right? We're going to read that scripture. But this right here says President Biden, you know, creepy sleepy, if you will. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's president. I always liked that. I thought that was funny. Anyway, President Biden on Sunday called the use of internment camps for Japanese Americans in the U.S. during World War II. See, we're talking about the third world coming up, right? Anyway, one of the most shameful periods in American history, but, but yet they will not teach what they call CRT, all right? They won't teach that. You see, they don't want to know what the truth is. As a matter of fact, none of these people can even tell you what CRT is. They just know that they don't want to talk. All right, when, uh, when President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, 81 years ago today, it uh it ushered in one of the most shameful periods in American history. See, see, they don't want to tell you about Northern and Southern Kingdom. They don't want to tell you about the atrocities that happened to the Israelites here in Babylon. They don't want to tell you that. Anyway, you know, that's getting into a whole nother lesson. But, you know, I thought I'd put that in there because. Just so I could remember it, just to be honest with you, Isaiah uh, 62 and verse six. Let's read it in the NIV right here. I have posted watchmen on your walls. Jerusalem, which is a people, before it's a place. They will never be silent day or night. You who call upon the Lord, Yahweh, give yourselves no rest. Okay? Let's move, let's move on down here. Let's see what... Uh, let's go straight to, uh, to the King James Version right here. I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, right? which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, keep not silence. See that? Keep not silence. He has set watchmen up. He set us up to, to give the people warning, you know, by the Rakakwadash, by his word, okay, to warn them to save their lives, you know, and ultimately to save ours. See, it's all about the elect anyway. All right. So we got to, we got to watch. Let's go here. We got to watch. That is a very, very bold move for uh, Sleepy Joe to make. It's very, very bold. Now, they're doing something. All right. They're doing something. And it's all going to come out in time. But you never know. Could be, you know, one of those false flags. You never know what they're doing. Extremely bold move for him to do that. Okay. The third world cometh quickly, right? First Peter five and verse eight, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see that whom he may devour. And that's anybody, even his own people, but the ultimate, their ultimate goal. And they think they're going to get away with it. And the scripture said, uh, you know, he, uh, while he's eating, he's, go, he's, go, he's trying to fill his belly and it, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work, you know? He, he could not perform his enterprise, right? But see, he's going to try. He didn't consider the latter end. He's going to try and try and try. He's going to come in like a flood. All right? Esau, Edom is the devil the Bible speaks of. He's going he's gonna to be like a, a madman sparing none. You know? You see? Okay? That's a, hey, that's why we got to give you warning. It's time to get ready. It's time to get ready. Let's go here. I'll close out. Again, this wasn't going to be long. I just thought that was a very interesting move to make in the middle, in, in the midst of a war in the capital. He flies right on in there, right? Yeah, hey, easily Putin could take him out. He could take him out. You know, hey, what did uh, uh, Muhammad Ali uh, say? I, I shook up the world. You see that? <laughs> anyway, Revelation 11, verse 14. The second woe is past and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. See that? And the third woe cometh quickly. Man, my voice is all kinds of messed up. Verse 15, and the seventh angel sounded, and there was a great, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Hamashiach, 
and he shall reign forever and ever. That's forever and ever, man. That's the time that, that we're waiting on the kingdom. Okay. But before that happens, we got to watch and we got to endure until the end. All right. Just a real, you know, a real quick lesson. And, um, you know, hey, Esau Edom's making moves. So we got to stand upon our watch, right? Stand upon your watch. Boom. Shalom.